All right, so there's the uh, call it the solvent challenge, solvent shootout. So let's try the orange clean first. Just need to get me a It's been sitting in that for more than 24 hours. Looks like it's taken the taking the oil off in some spots, but okay, out. Daisy, come on, out you go. That'd be the dog. Actually, this has taken off more than I thought it would. Carbon's still on there though. Orange clean doesn't do much. Orange clean with dishwashing detergent. Hmm. That's definitely doing better. Looks like it's taking some of the carbon off, but. Definitely not all and not easy. It'll probably take some good scrubbing to get the rest of that off. All right. Let's try the good old solvent. With the solvents, I should be using uh, a respirator and stuff like that. Um, probably should have gloves on. Let's do that. There's enough air movement in this garage that the small amounts that I'm using, I'm not using a respirator. Plus it makes it really hard to talk. seems to have loosened that up. Probably come off with a good scrubbing most of it. But not exactly a miracle clean. And a regular good old fashioned solvent. Boy, the, I think the dishwashing detergent works better than that. At least for the carbon. Not doing much. All right, now for the head. Probably gonna have to hold the camera for this. YouTube says my camera holding is shaky. It's not, uh, not the best camera, so let's line this out a bit. All right. Well, this one, I'm gonna respray these, even though it's sat, this stuff just evaporates off, break clean. That's my special transmission fluid and acetone, that's what I was looking for. I don't think either of those did anything really. Let's put a little more of the goof off in here. It's just pouring through the spark plug hole. But that little puddle that has gone on there should have made some sort of effect. Brake cleaner, not so much. Looks like it's taken the oil and stuff like that, but You'd have to really scrub at it to get any of that carbon. Automatic transmission fluid. No, not so much. And actually that goof off 
looks like it's taken some of the carbon. Hmm. That looks like it's working as good as the, uh, well, at least as good as the dishwasher detergent and uh, orange clean. Actually better than that. It's almost as good as this one, which is the last one. I'm going to put some more in here because it's dried out. <laughs> That one's the only one that after a couple of hours I could tell that it had moved some of the carbon. Let's pour some more on. Let's first close that door. Good thing I've got this on camera because my pieces of paper just blew in the wind. Pretty sure that's how that went. Let's close the door. Okay, so we put some more of the paint remover. That is actually working. Actually, that's working quite well, at least as good as my gasket remover, which I'm kind of thinking that that gasket remover is pretty much the same thing as the paint remover, heavy-duty paint remover. That works without making crazy amounts of work for myself. Let's just wipe that off so you can see it. Ooh la la, that works pretty good. Well, there is a couple more things in my little tricks that I have not tried. And we'll have to go in the next video lacquer thinner and last but not least everyone says how great this stuff is it's been sitting on my shelf for ages that's your seafoam stuff I'm thinking well saying that's motor treatment but let's try it full strength and see what we get Anyways, that's all for now. The winner is the paint remover. Definitely made short work of that. I don't think you'd have to get this brand, but that's a better quality one for furniture finishing. Anyways, that's it.